People say, oh, I don't want to pay. Oh, it's going to cost. Well, it's going to cost you more in life to go out and learn the mistakes on your own. Because making mistakes in business is costly. Cost money. If you got the wrong camera or something, how much it cost you? Bro, I didn't I didn't did it. <laughs> Probably over five bands. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's a lot, bro. I didn't did it a couple times, bro. I tell people all the time, I'm like, people compliment me about how well, how much I know. I'm like, y'all have no idea. <laughs> it took a lot of L's. It, it took yeah. a lot of yeah. mistakes. I had to... Up, literally, yep. excuse my first. I messed up so many times to be able to know to have backup audio, to have backup video because I didn't lost some. So, shit. would you agree that rather than spending all that money on up, yeah. you would have preferred to just pay someone even five bands that could have showed you how to get it right the first time? Damn, yeah. That because it not only did it cost you money, it cost you time. Time. Oh, and my the God. biggest thing we have is time. People be like, "Well, time is money." No, it's not. You would much rather have your time back than spend a long time making money. Yes, yes. So I tell people all the time, the best thing you want to do after you get the money is go get a coach in the thing that you're doing. Oh, man. My God. What up, brother? Much man, back. We back, yo. Mr. Darius Benders is back here. Um, yo, first of all, first of all, why you come back so soon? What's going on, man? Man, I felt like fix your mic too. Fix your mic. Oh yeah, yeah, mic. for sure, for sure. We good? Yeah, 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 right. yeah. Man, last time was good, bro. We had we had a good conversation. I've been on a lot of pods, but the energy was just different. Um, I got a lot of good response from it, so I felt like, man, let me get back on a platform and, and give them some more game. And uh, last time we had a real good like entrepreneurship conversation. I wanted to come back and really serve your people and give them some game on like the funding and and how to go out and get access to capital because a lot of people mm -hmm. needed to be able to grow. So definitely had to come back, man, give some more. So you're trying to get my people some money. I'm trying to get people some come money, on, man. Come on, man. Come on. What's the, what's the first play then, I guess? Like you got to, because you say you don't do credit yourself. The right. repair. So the repair. the repair process. So what we do is... um. We have people who come to us and you know, we run a funding company. So when people don't qualify for funding, either they need to fix it or they got to build it or both. So if someone needs to fix it, we leverage an AI software called Metro 2 Compliance. And what that's going to do is it's going to leverage AI to be able to delete the negative items on their behalf. Yeah, so if anyone does need repair, we can offer that as a service offer that as a DIY where they can do it themselves. That way they don't have to worry about paying somebody, you know, people paying a thousand, fifteen, two hundred, uh, two thousand dollars and not getting the credit repair. So rather than that, what we do is we teach you how to use the AI software and do it yourself. Oh, so that's wow. the first step. Yeah. How much is that? First of all, I just want to ask. Uh, that's 47, uh, 97 a month. $47 a month or $97 a month. How, how long we need? To... Um, so typically I tell people average time for credit repair, right? Some people, what they do is they overpromise still 60 days, 90 days. I say average time is between three and nine months. Okay. Yeah, average time. It can be sooner, can take a little longer, but that's the average time. But you got to think about it, bro. If a person that had bad credit and then had some bad debt and then ran off on the plug, what is, what is three to nine months to go out and get your shit back in order so you can start... Doing what you want to do. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing, right? <laughs> ain't ain't nothing. nothing. So wait, so I got to have good credit to, to be able to get funding on a bit. Because you do business or? Yeah, we do business. So we do all funding. We help people with personal funding and business funding. But our bread and butter is business funding. Because it's like the business funding gives you more leverage, right? For example, if you go get, I can get you $100,000 in personal funding too. And you want to have some personal funding before getting into business funding because it's something called comparable credit. So the business lenders, the business banks, they're going to look at, what have you currently handled on the personal side? Because if a person has never handled no money on the personal side, why are we going to go give them a lot on the business side? So what I tell people to do is start with like credit unions, right? So the reason we want to start with credit unions, they got easier underwriting. Like when you go to like a Bank of America, uh, a national bank, what happens is they're very black and white in terms mm -hmm. of what you're going to get, unless you have access to a relationship banking manager. But when you go to a credit union, that might be right in the hood. It might be your, your local credit union, right? Or community bank. Their underwriting is a lot easier. So if someone come to me, they got a 680, they got decent data points, but maybe they're not perfect. We can still go get them 10, 15, $20,000 because the credit unions are going to be more lenient. Also, um, credit unions are typically, you know, non for profit organizations which means their like obligation or their priority is you that's why they have membership oh. you will become a member so they're looking to deal with them because if they weren't why would we deal with them we would just go to the bigger banks so those are some that's some leverage that you have when it comes to these credit unions but before you even get to a part where you're going to get your first personal credit cards or whatever you should build up your credit profile right so most people think it's about credit score hey i got a 690 i got a 730 i got a 750 but it's really about what i call your credit resume which is your profile so you want to have 10 primary accounts. Those are just anything that's in your name, right? So primary accounts could be if you got an auto loan, if you got a student loan, if you got a mortgage, lines of credit, credit cards, all of these things are considered personal primary accounts. If you don't have any, right? Because some people are like, well, D, I'm just starting out my credit. 
cool. You can start building those up with something called credit builder accounts. So you ever heard like self? Yeah, kick self. Off? Kick, yeah, yep, yeah yep. credit strong, all of those, <laughs> yep. right? And those are cool, great starting line. But one thing I tell people is always to go to a credit union and get what we call a credit builder product, right? For Navy Fed, they might call it the pledge loan. A lot of people talk yeah, about yeah, that online. Yeah, yeah. yeah every cre most credit unions have a product similar to it. They just might not call it the pledge loan. They might call it a shared savings secure loan. They might call it a secure loan. But all it is is leveraging, building an internal relationship with that credit union, which now helps us to go get that twenty twenty five thousand dollars limit that we need. The pledge loan, what is that exactly? Yeah, so essentially, when a pledge loan is, it's allowing to allowing you to leverage your money to be able to open up a secured loan with that credit union. Now, the the play behind the pledge loan. Is, so let's say you know you just join Navy Fed, right, or whatever DCU. Now, what happens is you call, you say, "I like to set up a pledge loan or a share savings secure loan." They're gonna say, "Okay, for how much?" You let them know anywhere from. I recommend at least five hundred, but you can do it as low as two hundred fifty dollars. Now, what they're gonna do is have your put. You're gonna put your money into a checking account. They're gonna move it over into a savings account, and they're gonna freeze that money because that's the secured loan, right? The pledge loan. Oh, it sounds like a um. What's the credit card? Uh, secured secure card, credit. similar, similar, <laughs> but a little stronger, right? Because here's the play. What you do is the next day you call in. You say I'd like to pay down eighty percent of my pledge loan or my share savings secure loan. Now what happens is that money goes back into your account, but now you have an account that shows it's 80% paid off with that credit union. So now they say, okay, and not only does it register with that credit union, it also goes onto your a primary account on all three of the credit bureaus. So now it's an 80% paid off account, which makes you look more landable because now it seems as though you've handled more money for a long period of time. That makes oh, sense? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's a fast way that you can start building. So hold up, I, somebody I got my credit fixed before, right? Yep. Man, I done fell. It's, it's hard out here. I yeah. fucked my shit all the way up. This still work if I mess my credit up before and I just go back and fix my credit again? Absolutely. The thing about credit, y'all, is anything and everything can be removed and credit can always be rebuilt. That's the beautiful thing about credit. And once you are in position, then we can start to go get access to the capital, right? So what I tell you after you build out your report is um, some things you want to look for outside of the primary accounts is like credit age. Mm -hmm. So if you're new to credit and you're trying to build that up, go get you... Uh, um, primary, uh, sorry, a trade line, right? Yep, you go to yeah. tradelinesupply.com, we'll get you one of those. Or you can leverage like somebody in your family, your friend, authorized user accounts, which just allows you to piggyback. So if Jay had a credit, well, you say your credit messed up, but like, let's say, oh, man, let, man. Now, let, let, let's say, <laughs> you got a good credit, I can you come can, to you. Yeah, exactly. You can leverage <laughs> one of my credit cards and that'll help you increase that age or whatever it may be. Um, but once you're in this position, y'all, you want second step is making sure that your business is structured the right way. A lot of people, they don't have an LLC, they don't have an entity at all. So make sure that your business is operating as a big business. Go get you a business phone number, business email, business address. Um, for your business address, a mistake I see a lot of time, we coach a lot of people now is they go get it attached to a UPS or a FedEx. So you want to make sure that before you purchase the address on opus.com or regis.com or even iPost that you can use, make sure that you put it in Google to see the actual location. You just want to make sure it's attached to a physical building and not just like um, a UPS or FedEx. Because if it is attached to that, you, you're going to get denied every time because they can tell that your business is not operating out of an actual brick and mortar building. Okay, what about if I um have a I had an LLC but I ain't paid the um the taxes or whatever? Should I get a new one or should I just pay that? No, you just catch up on your annual fees. And then yeah. it still shows the longevity of absolutely, my business. Absolutely, absolutely. And the good and the, the thing is, even as a brand new business, I know a lot of people think, well, if my business is new, they're not giving me funding. That's not true. We we get brand new bit. You can have an LLC that you just opened yesterday that you can go out and get funding for. You can have an LLC that has no money coming in. But if your personal credit is right, your LLC is structured right, and you understand banking and applications, then you can go get access to funding. If your business is two years or more, the great thing is now we'll open up to more products. Now we can get something called business lines of credit. Right? And the difference between lines of credit and credit cards is that, you know, when you get a business line of credit, they drop money right into an account called business line of credit. Let's say you got approved for 20000 If you only want to use 10 of it right now, you just move 10000 from the business line of credit over to the business checking account. And now your interest is only on that $10,000 that you're using. So you want to go set up your podcast. You want to go get real estate. You want to go grow your business marketing, whatever it may be. Now you can do that. So I thought, like, even with the business credit stuff, like, you got to have, like, a business credit score and, like, no. a DUNS number and stuff like that. Like, where does that come from? Because that's what they told me. Yep. So you do want a DUNS number because, <laughs> again, it just legitifies your business. But in terms of a paydex score and quills and granges, you don't need none of that. That's a... I don't want to say the internet gurus, but a lot of people is just saying that on, on Instagram or whatever because it looks cool. You don't. Because no one's going to give you thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 without personal guarantoring. We need to see... Maybe five years ago, 10 years ago, but now they need to see your personal report because what they're doing is they're banking on you being able to pay them back. If they don't have it tied to any social at all, then 
you know, the, the money's as good as gone. So they're now making, requiring most people for these 0% interest credit cards to PG. And, and you do want these products, you want to be PG because most products that are not, are going to give you 0% interest, which is what we need as brand new business owners because if you're just starting something new, you don't even know what you're doing yet. You don't have no guidance. You don't got a coach yet. You don't got no clarity. You've never done it. So you want to be in a position to win. When people go get traditional business loans that are 20, 25% interest, now they're drowning. And now they come back and they fumble the bread. But you go to a base like, you go to a bank like Chase, you go to a bank like uh, Bank of America, you go to a bank like US Bank, they all have a 0% interest period, um, anywhere from nine to 18 months. Chase is 12 months. So now, let's say you want to go set up a new business or whatever, you can go get the inventory, you can go get the coach, you can go put it into marketing. If you need to hire a team, you need equipment, whatever it is, and we got a whole year before interest starts accruing. So let's say it's $20,000 that you got approved for from a Chase. You only have to pay a 1% minimum every month, which is $200. Are you mm. going to be mad if you only got paid $200 on 20? Not at all. Right? Yeah, not even not, not even at all. Close. Versus if it was a traditional loan, twenty percent. That's a, that's a lot of money every back. Let me ask you this then. Yeah. So again, this is just for, for for my niggas out there. Yeah, I messed up my credit. Right, mm -hmm. I had a Chase bank card, bank account. Yeah, but it or Chase credit card, but it got like uh, what is it called? Um, charged off. Charged off. Yeah. Even though my credit, I clean my credit up again. Can I go back to Chase or they still know my name? So you might have ruined that relationship oh, with that shit. particular lender, right? Okay. Doesn't mean to every lender, but with that particular lender, you might be good. What you can do is you can see is if you set up a different LLC, will they allow you to apply again? But it's 50-50 because it is attached to your social because it's PG. So you might have ruined that relationship with that um with that lender, which is why I tell you, don't be running off on the plug, y'all. Shit. Yeah, yeah. All right, but we still have, it's still chances out it's there. It's still a whole lot of banks. Oh, All right. Hundreds of banks. So I know somebody with 750 credit score, right? Yep. But they might not have a bunch of uh, lines of credit mm -hmm. or a bunch of, um, I don't know, uh, like lines of credit or relationships with banks. Okay. Is it it's still hard for them? Like they can't really just come to you and be like, yo, I need, I need uh, some uh, business money. Or Absolutely. Business money. Yeah. So I have the relationship. So if, if people come to me, one of the great things about, I've been doing funding now for two years. We funded 24 million in the last two years, right? So one thing we've developed is relationship banking managers, right? So what you all can do is you all, I'll get into how we do it and then I can show you how you can do it. So essentially when someone comes to me, it's different from if they're applying online by themselves. That's why, you know, people online, they always be like, well, I got a 700. Why do I need you? Because you don't have access to the relationships that I'm I the have. plug. Exactly. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm the connect. The plug, right. <laughs> so we got reps at different banks. We got US Bank, BOA, Chase, we got Truist, we got American Express reps. So now what happens is I deal directly with them. So when you come to me, what happens is I put you in a CC with that banker. And what we do is we open you up an account. Now they get on with you, the client, verify you are obviously legit, your business is set up right. And then what happens is they're able to push your your um, applications through via DocuSign. Right, and it goes uh, tab on. It says this is directly from the underwriter, or, or a relationship bank is close tightly with the underwriter. So now, when you see us getting people fifty, sixty, eighty thousand dollars limits, is because we have that relationship. Versus if they applied on their own, they might get you know twenty, twenty five, if their credit is real good, thirty thousand, but they can't get what we can get. All right, cool. So you saying the business got to be right? So that's just the address. What 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 else is right? Yeah, so, so you right. got your entity, you got your business address, <clears throat> you got a business phone number. You can go to call 8com and get you one of those. Um, you have a business email. You can go to GoDaddy.com and get you one of those. Uh, make sure your business is uh, info at your business.com or support at your business.com. So not business, because I got business at mrjhill.com. No. Yeah, that's perfect. No, okay. that's fine. As okay. long as it's not Gmail, as long okay. as it ain't AOL, Gmail, Hotmail, none of that, okay. right? Because that just essentially says you're operating with a personal email. Um, And then you want to make sure that when you're naming your business, you stay away from high-risk industries. So, like, don't put credit repair, don't put cannabis, don't put trucking, don't put real estate in the name, right? It's okay if you do those businesses, but we're playing the part, right? So I tell you, typically you stick to names like Enterprise, Worldwide, um, uh, worldwide Enterprise Solutions, names like those, very general. So my business name is uh, Honest Royalty LLC. Perfect. That's okay. perfect. Yeah, it's general, right? Okay. No one knows. It's not in a high risk industry, or at least I can't tell, right? So the next thing I tell you is when bankers ask you what is the nature of your business, because usually on applications there's a question like that, or the banker will manually ask you that. Usually we stick to low risk industries, so consulting, yep. marketing, or mm -hmm. education, right? Because okay. those are deemed the lowest risk, which gets us the most amount of funding. Oh wow. So okay. So Wait, do you? How much would it cost if I come? I got a seven hundred credit score, seven fifty. I'm like, y'all just trying to get some. I'm trying to get the bag. What? I got. Listen, it's this is the best business in the world, bro. I don't charge nothing <laughs> up front. Nothing. Okay, what? Well, it's like a percentage on the back end. It's a percentage on the back end. So I don't eat if you don't get money. 
That's okay. why it's a win-win situation, right? No okay. one tells me no. Everyone's like, okay, word. You could come to me dead broke. You got good credit. Your business, I can go get you more than you'll be able to save. Can you tell me job. how much the percentage? What, what is it? Yeah, ten percent. Absolutely. So people charge anywhere from ten to twenty percent. I feel like ten percent is enough. I feel like twenty is kind of old, but to each his own. But we do about ten percent. Okay. It's not bad. So we get you a hundred thousand. You got ninety that you can go out and leverage, and, and you don't pay us until you receive your products. Mm. So it's not like you know I get people like, oh shoot, I don't got the, the money to pay you right now. You better get your credit products, and we have them sign a contract because everything in business should be contractual. So they sign a contract saying that they're allowing us to apply on their behalf and that they will pay us ten percent within two to seven, two to six business days after they get that from receiving their car. And I don't even like the six. I change mine is like. One to four. As soon as you get the car, just pay it. Yeah. Because sometimes I, people start thinking like, oh, damn. Yeah, no, nah, facts. Yeah, yeah. Right, hold on, hold on. So mm -hmm. one thing that I've learned, even I was like this, you get your business and like you get the money and you don't know what to do with it. That's do you it. help with like, like, because I'm thinking like, bro, people like, man, I want to start this. What's the name company? It's like, yeah. bro, you got to start something that's going to make you money because you got some time to pay this money back. That's and if a you, fact. That's if a you ain't fact. making no money, then you could be hurt at the end of the year. No cap. So my, my thing is this, and that's why we got into the education at first, because at first we were just funding people. And I'm like, damn, people are like, man, y'all got the money, but it didn't work. Or I didn't know what to do. Or the 0% interest ran out. So now we got big in the education space. I feel like this. Whatever a person want to do, they should go get a coach first. If I go get someone $100,000 and they know they want to learn how to start a podcast, don't go try to do the podcast yourself. Come, come see my guy. He got experience in it. If someone want to come, they want to do a run a funding company, come into my program where I'll show you how to duplicate everything I've done. You get the contracts, you get the onboarding, you get the relationship reps. Instead of having to go out there and figure it out more. People say, oh, I don't want to pay. Oh, it's going to cost. What's well, going to cost you more in life to go out and learn the mistakes on your own? Because making mistakes in business is costly. Cost money. If you got the wrong camera or something, how much it cost you? Bro, I didn't I didn't did it. <laughs> Probably over five bands. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's a lot, bro. I didn't did it a couple times, bro. I tell people all the time, I'm like, people compliment me about how well, how much I know. I'm like, y'all have no idea. It took a lot of L's. It, it took a lot of yeah. mistakes. I had to fuck up. Literally, yeah. excuse my friends, I messed up so many times to be able to know to have backup audio, to have backup video because I didn't lost some shit. <laughs> so <laughs> would you agree that rather than spending all that money on fucking up, yeah. you would have preferred to just pay someone even five bands that could have showed you how to get it right the first time. Damn, yeah. that Because it not only did it cost you money, it cost you time. Time, oh my And the God. biggest thing we have is time. People be like, well, time is money. No, it's not. You would much rather have your time back than spend a long time making money. Yes, yes. So 100%. I tell people all the time, the best thing you want to do after you get the money is go get a coach in the thing that you're doing. So are you, because what I'm thinking about it is, yeah. before they even get this money, right, I'm like, listen, if I get you back 100, just know you really got 50 because you should do this, this, and that. Yeah. Are you, I, I'm just thinking from my perspective of marketing. No, that's good. So... On the personal side, if I get you, if we get you personal funding, I tell you, do not over leverage. The worst thing you can do is over leverage personal funding, right? So only utilize about twenty percent of that if you're going to do that. Set it up on your bills, your regular things. If you're going to put it into your business, no more than twenty percent because you don't want to have done all that hard work of building your credit, fixing your credit. Now you go get these personal funding, and now you asked out because you over leveraged, and now you can't pay the utilization down. So now we can't get the business. When it comes to the business side, though, nah, go go spend it because if you go get a coach, bro, and you got direction. And you create a product that works. You now have proof of concept. Now it's just about getting in front of the eyeballs. Like this is literally how I built this shit was literally I, I got credit cards. I went and got a coach. I went and started getting people money. They started paying me. And then I said, okay, now people start asking me, yo, how are you doing that? How are you, you just charged me uh, $13,000 for just getting me money. I want to do what you do. So I said, okay. So I got another coach, learn how to do the sales, learn how to do marketing and all that. And guess what? Now what happens is I only have to pay to get in front of more eyeballs, Facebook ads, uh, podcast, shout out pages, because I know I have proof of concept. I know our service get people results. So once you're there, spend it all because it always comes back. Yo, all right. So once you do it one time, can you do it another time? So let's say you got a, I mean, it's, I'm assuming one bank ain't giving you a hundred or is it? Well, we do with banking relationships. Normal person can go get a hundred. We have gotten people... 85,000, almost 100,000 from one bank. But usually when you get the money, 100, 150, 200, 250, it's from multiple lenders. So what you can do is you can apply. And the way business credit works is I go get a business credit card, business line of credit, I can remove the inquiry. So because I can remove the inquiry from my personal credit, after I go get, let's say, three cards that pull from Experion, three that pull from Equifax, three that pull from TransUnion, guess what? I can remove the inquiries and I can now go to other banks and get more funding now. Damn. That's how you hear about people getting three, four, five hundred, a million dollars in funding. They have leveraged removing the inquiries and going back. It's all about the strategy. So, for example, if I know Navy Fed, Amex, and BOA are all going to pull from Experion, I'm just going to go apply for all those three banks either in the same day or within the same two days. Now I'm going to go 
apply for some banks that pull from TransUnion because the banks that pull from TransUnion, when I apply, they won't see that I got those inquiries from Experion. Yeah. So this is called credit card stacking. And then each LLC is gets treated as essentially a new person. So now we can go to the same banks that we just got 150, 200,000 from on a brand new LLC and we can go in the same exact place. Is this shit really working? This though? shit works, bro. This shit works. This shit works. Listen, you go on my social media page. I got students getting three hundred thousand. I got students. I want to see that bank account. Fuck all that. Yeah, whatever you want to see, bro. <laughs> whatever you want to see. Wait. So, all right. So, because what I'm thinking is, you get the one, the one set of loans yeah. just for coaching. Then you get another set of loans. You could do for it the like business. that. You could do it like that. You can. You can do it like that. Like if I get sixty, I'm putting that all towards coaching. And that's fire. That's smart because you know that that's your that's your your LLC or that's your period where you're gonna go out and you're gonna learn the plays. As you're learning the plays, now you're learning proof of concept. You're getting your strategy. Now we can go get some more money for marketing. Maybe you start like, all right, this is cool, but I'm burnt out. Let me now get some VAs. Let me get an operation manager. And that's this is how we did our business. So now to the point where. We have a team in place for everything. A team that run my Facebook ads. I got my operation manager who oversees all our VAs. We got our email team. We have our DM outreach team. Because all of these things are things that we think of them as a cost, but they're actually not a cost. They're actually the thing that's going to help you make more money. You got better fulfillment. I can talk to more people today. We could sell more. And all of this started with leveraging the credit to be able to now go invest it and make the business keep growing. All right, hold up, bro. Hold yeah. Up. How do I... Because you, you, you just did a... um. What is it, a mastermind? That yeah. Was How do I get, if I'm, I, well, I don't want to talk to the niggas that's assed out, but <laughs> if I'm just hurting right now, right, yeah. but this can change my life. How, like, how how do I? Tap in? Yeah. So this is what I'm doing, and you said something. I created, I did one last month. I'm doing one um, coming up. It's a it's a boot camp. I'm doing a three-day boot camp where I'm going to show you, because I know we only got to, you know, we didn't have a whole, whole lot of time, but I'm going to be showing them this stuff step by step, right? I'm going to be sharing my scheme, breaking down the plays, giving them a whole lot of insight. So anyone who's feeling assed out, you feeling like you started, but now you're trying to grow, or even if you, you're you growing, but you're not growing fast enough, I'm going to be showing you live or a three-day boot camp um, on Zoom where I'm going to be breaking down how to go structure your, your personal credit. I'm going to give you all the plays, all the sites you can go to, all that to build it out. I'm going to show you how to fix your credit as well. And then on day two, we're going to do live funding. So remember I told you about live funding before this past boot camp we did, we funded $3.2 million live on the on the on the day two. Like right I can see. Right, you can see. You can see their you can see the approvals coming through. You know, cause niggas know. Now you gotta make a nigga believe. You got to, <laughs> got to. Hey, I ain't mad at it. Right. And then um and then on day three, I'm gonna show you all how to grow the funding company. So now you can go make, and this is the easiest business in the world. It's the only business I know that you can get one client a month and make six figures. If I, if you go get just one person a month. You fund them 100000 that's 10 k times 12 yeah. months is 100, it's 120000 And you don't even need a big social media presence. So one play we're going to break down over the three-day boot camp is how to leverage other people. So, for example, Jay Hill, you got a community? I don't. I got to get one. But that's, I got a fake community. You got, it's uh, not like a real, like, you know. But, it, but you got people you yeah, 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 So yeah. I say, Jay Hill, everybody that you send my way, you refer for funding, I'm going to kick you back 2% out of the 10% that I'm going to make. Now you're like, well, if you get people 100000 you're getting 2000 a pop. Yeah. You got five friends who send me some work. Now you get five times two, $10,000, yeah. but you don't have to do nothing. So one of the do, we leverage influencers. We leverage people with platforms. We speak in people's communities, and then we kick the person who owns the organization or the community back a percentage. Credit repair specialists, a lot of them, they don't they leave thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table because they don't do funding. Yeah. So what we do is we partner with them. They send us work. They don't have to do anything, and now they're making a percentage, right? Now it's just adding on to what they do. And for us, I didn't need to make a post. I didn't need to do none of that. And then, of course, I'm going to show you the social media game and how you can attract your clients as well. But, yeah, the, the game gets sweet, and then it gets even sweeter. We got people in my program. One girl, she, she did like 14000 last month, and she's a funding broker. So she doesn't actually do the funding. She just brokers the deal. So she markets as a funding company. People send her work, and now she partners with people like myself who actually do the funding, and she gets her middleman fee. That could be anywhere from 3 to 5%. That's like a consultant. It, Essentially, yeah, she's a middleman. She's yeah. just the one connecting the bridge, and she's getting her percentage. They make the most money, low key. They do the middleman, and 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 the low overhead, no overhead. Yo, that's cr yeah. I might make a commercial for you. Hey, just, say less. <laughs> I might <laughs> on me. This is this episode of sponsored. <laughs> I got you. Your... <laughs> Everybody, your way. Everyone type J Hill when they come. I'm, I'm, I got you. So wait, 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 bro. So you got this business. Mm -hmm. You doing these boot camps. You doing these masterminds. It just sounds like it's easy. It can't be just that easy. Everybody would do it, bro. Like, come on. Everyone I, I, should be doing it. The reason people ain't doing it because most times people don't have a belief in themselves. So it's never about the business. It's about the, the person. Like, all businesses work. 
Somebody made a million dollars cutting lawns. Somebody made a million dollars doing podcast. That's hard. This shit always All work. work. It's just you. The person right. has to work it. It's, I feel like this. I'm going to keep it a buck. Money, like I, I wish I knew what I knew now. Money isn't a thing we chase. It's a thing we attract. Mm -hmm. The way you do that is it's really about working harder on you than you would do on the business. Like I work hard on the business, but not nearly as hard as on myself because I realize like I could be doing all this scrambling. Yo, Jay, I want to come through. Yo, this. I want to do all this stuff. But if I ain't work hard on me, I see the money's going down. Oh, I'm slacking. Oh, I'm waking up late. Oh, I'm being late to team meetings. Oh, I'm bullshitting on the on the, uh, the night before a webinar. Now I don't perform the same. So it's really all about us. And as you get better, it gets easier. Making money just gets easier. Mm, yeah. As you get better, it gets easy. You're going crazy. Yo, okay. So you mean to tell me if I just I, I join your boot camp, mm -hmm. you're gonna teach me how to do it. But again, we know people are lazy, right? Yes. Um, it sounds like you're not doing all this by yourself. Like mm -hmm. you created a team. Absolutely. If I just wanna I can just I can I can do boot camp, learn how to do it myself. Yes. But I also can just pay you to get it done for me too. Yes, one hundred percent. So affiliates. Yep. So we do have an affiliate program for people who are um looking to send work and we kick them back a fee and we even have trainings on how they can be an effective affiliate. No, not even affiliate. Like, because that's like me giving you, that's like business, me giving you somebody and I get paid for it, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. I'm thinking like, I guess, I guess that would be the 10%. Because the boot camp is teaching them how oh, to do it Oh, if I just themselves. do it for you. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. So I just, I'd be like, yo, just, I, I got good your, credit. Exactly. Just get it for Absolutely. Me. And we do that, absolutely. They can do that. that, or they can do the boot camp, learn well, how to learn themselves. So, because if I teach a fish how to fish, they can uh, fish for a lifetime. If I do it for you, that's fine, but you got to keep coming back. But I'm more than happy to do it for you. Absolutely. Okay. So let's say I could do both though. Like I said, I, I I got good credit. I want you to do it for me. But now that no. you got the money, you want to come in and do both. That's what we, a lot of our people that we fund do turn into students or mentees because they're like, I want to know how you just did what you did. People got tax offices. They got credit repair businesses. They're realtors. They're like, I, I paint the picture like, yo, you're leaving hundreds of thousands on the table by not offering funding to someone that you're already helping. Mm. So a lot of those people come into our program. About a third is real estate investors, a third is business owners, um, and then a, about a third is coaches and consultants. I'm about to get real lazy then. Yeah. Let's say I need you to set up my everything for me, like the VA, all that. Do you well, do that too? Absolutely. We got a done for you service where we'll build out your back end. That's a pretty penny, but yeah, we got you. How much is that? Yeah, hit, hit me in the deal. <laughs> I got you. Because I want to give you the breakdown. Because if I just say the price, what happens is, and we, and we teach in business, don't say it a price up front unless you've explained and broke down value because a lot of times people say, oh, nah. But what if I painted a picture of how it's still underpriced for what you'll get? Like if you, if I said it was 15000 but I tell you, you could walk into a business that's essentially built out so all you got to do is bring the people, now it's a lot different. Yeah. You're like, well, shoot, I don't got to go out and do anything else. I don't go find the VAs, hire the VAs because training the VAs is hard. When I first got in business, I was struggling to scale past like 50K a month because what was happening was I'm now doing too much. I got to check the emails. Somebody said they didn't receive it in their spam. Somebody in the DMs complaining. Uh, one of the Facebook groups, I got to answer the questions. So you're working now in the business instead of on the business. As CEOs, we want to work on the business because that allows you to scale more. We get paid to think. We get paid to use our imagination to make money. So now when, when you're implementing so much, you're using muscle, you're holding back the money. Damn, this is crazy, bro. This is insane. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. And you... and, and you just had a boot camp and y'all just did close to 200. Yeah, it was a that's, good That's just you, you. Like, you ain't do that with nobody else? No, it was just me. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Damn. It's, and and like, like we talked about, bro, it's like, I know some people, because I was the dude before, I'm like, these niggas capping. It's like, so that's I, I used to, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I used to think that. Yeah. But I've been in Atlanta for a couple years now and I, I talked to a few of these entrepreneurs. Yeah. And some niggas even showed me that bank account. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's just real, bro. I'm like this real. It just, it just take time because it's like we can only go to what we're exposed to. Exactly. So if around the way, we'll yeah, see it. if you get 150 in a year, like at a nightlife promoter, I, I made six figures two years in the nightlife, and I'm like, yo, it's lit. I'm yeah. him. But you realize, like, it's because your environment. You get around people out here, people are doing it, and you see it. And you know, I always say, if you, if you stay close to the fire, you, you're gonna get hot. So, Ooh. damn. So what? what? How do we get them to you, bro? Like, what Like, what we need to do? I'm going to give you that link, man. All they got to do is click the link in your bio, or y'all can follow me on Instagram, at Darius Benders. Just DM me the word boot camp, and I'll send you a discount on behalf of my guy. Yo, yeah, I need, like, can't, can't, wait. We've been doing this for a second now. I, I used to always do this. I'm going to do it with you. Yeah. I'll be asking for too much now. Talk to me. If they watched it this far, mm -hmm. give me one person. Just, just, just bless one person. Yeah, bless them with what? Oh, yeah, I got you. What? How much the boot camp? Yeah, I made a price. So it's uh uh 132 for VIP ticket and 32 for a general ticket. That's not really expensive. I can't give me one. I got you. 
Yeah, what I'm gonna do is the first person that DM me, uh, Jay Hill sent me, I'll give him a free VIP ticket too. Ooh, yeah, yeah. So like VIP, that. you're gonna get to spend an extra hour with me every day. We're gonna get to ask questions, and then we on every morning at 8 30 a.m. in the morning too. All right, let me ask you this before we leave, bro. Yeah. Just curious, because I, I don't wanna leave with nobody, no excuses. Yeah. Okay, somebody come, they do the VIP experience and everything, mm -hmm. right? It's still a chance that they can't, that they won't win, right? It's a chance. There's a chance that they don't win. Well, people always say, well, what if it don't work? Yeah, yeah. But I say, well, if you're already broken, you're a grown up, the worst thing that happens is if it don't work, you go back to where you are. The best thing that happens is, what if it does work? So there's two type of people. There's people who are going to think, what if it don't work? And there's going to be people who continuously say, well, what if it do work? Okay. And if you're already grown and you don't like you don't like where your life is at, what the hell are you worried about? Yeah, I only ask that because, um, like, I feel like, yeah, it's, 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 it's not about, like, what if it don't work? It's yeah. just, I guess things happen. Yeah. And I don't know, I just be wondering, like, okay, like, because I... I don't even know. I was just curious. Oh, no, no, yeah. no. No, I see it. Last boot camp, man, this is what I tell people. Literally, I mean this. If y'all watching this, cool. If you come to my boot camp and you don't, and you feel like at the end you weren't oversatisfied, just DM me the word refund and I'll give you your bread back. Our shit go crazy. What I'm yeah. talking about, we have people literally on there crying. Like, I'm not even capping. We have people on there literally crying. We actually got videos. The shit's so impactful because you're going to learn more than three days, I promise you, than you're going to learn in the last 30 years. Mm. Because the information that you're going to be exposed to is information that could really change your life. But more importantly, it's a boot camp because I want to challenge you to become someone new. So our morning sessions is more all mindset. The evenings is all game. The morning, I need to teach you how to think and grow rich. Because most people think it's about, like we said, oh, the business, it ain't none of that shit. It's you procrastinating. You're not taking action now. You listen to motherfuckers who, who don't know how to get no money about how to go get money. You asking people who ain't never started a business about business. So you got to audit your environment. You got to get in the right rooms. And we're going to teach you how to really do that so you can position yourself. And if mm. you're not happy, what... What is going on in your life that is making you not happy and how do we change that? Because mm. these are the things that make people really successful. That shit, like this hour I gave all the sauce because I know that draws people in and I'm going to give them more. But I already know the problems with niggas is not the thing they got to do. It's the shit that they're doing on their day-to-day -day habits. So those mornings are really the best time and people be like, damn, I, I got to look in the mirror. Yeah, I'm surprised you ain't um do a shout out my guy Shans, but... Like some shit like that morning meetup shit, it's I know. perfect. Yeah, bro. so we added that to our program. What's it been a, a month, uh, two months now? We do morning calls um, on Wednesdays, but I'm switching it. It's gonna be Tuesdays and Thursdays. We do twice a week. David do every single morning. That, that that's great. Yo, that's but I ain't gonna lie, like you said, because yeah. like with the boot camp, it's really it helps you get out of that mindset. Because exactly. now every day I'm talking to a group of people exactly. who's on it. So even if I yell, if I got something on my mind. Yeah. It's, it's gone it's fast because I don't got time to focus exactly. on that. I mean, niggas is talking about getting to it. Now yeah. I'm like, oh, I need to get I to it. I need to lock in. Yeah, exactly. so like, dude, that shit is smart, bro. It's everything, bro. And that it's the people. Like, you probably met people um, in the rooms that now, those are your, those are your people, those are your accountability partners. Yes. Because mo most niggas don't got no one back home where they could be like, oh, I want to talk about this business. Niggas is like, yeah, we outside tonight. Yeah, we talking about bullshit. Exactly. Yeah, like, so then it kind of take you out. You're like, damn, I ain't even got no one to... So when you get in the rooms, now you got people who, bunch of people who invested something in themselves, and now you get to find your new day ones or your new spawn partners. And to be honest, bro, that itself is worth $135. And that's worth everything. 100%. <laughs> like, like 100 if you just found somebody that can help you, <laughs> like, right? That's, that's dope. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Sheesh, bro. Yeah. Yo, nah, okay. But but it, it, it does sound like I got to show up to the boot camp with good credit, though, because nah. you could teach me in... Nope. So we're going to do one segment is funding with bad credit. So there's something called alternative lending. And what they do is they lend to businesses that have bad credit but have business revenue coming in. So okay. if you got some sort of revenue coming in and your credit's not so good, we've been getting people access to funding. Um, certain, yeah, Rock Financial is one of them. Um, you got uh, On Deck. Those are a few. I'm going to break down a whole lot more. And we're, you guys are going to actually be able to see if you're pre-approved on the call, even if you got decent or bad credit. And remember day one, um, we're going to show you how to use the Metro 2 software to be able to Get your credit in order. I ain't gonna lie, you make me want to do this shit just to talk about it. I'm telling you, I ain't gonna lie, like room, you make right? me want to do it just so I can talk about it and be like, yo, nah, this shit really work. I'm, I'm gonna send you a free. I'm gonna send you the link. You good? That shit crazy, yeah. bro. Yeah, I appreciate you. But what, what else you got, man? What else? Shit. Um, focus on the boot camp, man. I'll say show up uh, December 11th, 13th. Uh, make sure that y'all lock in as soon as this drop. Price is gonna go up, but I just want to let the first hundred of them people cheap. And then um, just ready for the new year, man. New year, we're gonna be helping a lot of. People like yourself, coaches, consultants, influencers, um, expand their businesses. One of my goals for 2025 is this year I helped 
over, sorry, the last year and a half, we helped over 33 people become six-figure owners. This next upcoming year, my goal is to now help some people hit a million Hold dollars. up. I want to talk about that. Yes, sir. That's one thing about this podcast shit. And again, shout out to my dog. I, I, I give him his love, Shane's, right? He says something I never even thought about. Yeah. He's like, I love having a podcast because you can just get free game. Facts. Somebody get some free game. Hold up. Got you. So he came to me. I said, bro, I'm just, fuck, I want to do a boot camp. Yep. Like, shit, we could do it. We could break it down, whatever. Most definitely. How? Like, what you mean? Like, like most definitely. So one of the so one of the offers we have is uh, in our inner circle is we're able to help people like yourself set up their multi day event. So you got t- typical webinars, right? Which is just a one hour class. Um, we have a digital mastermind where we help people do that. And the thing is with uh, your one hour webinar is cool. You can sell products typically from five ninety seven all the way up to nineteen ninety seven, right? But we also have a multi day event where you heard of three day challenges, five day challenges, and what happens is. Conversation equals conversion. So the more time you spend with a person, the more information you're able to give them, the more you're able to get them to believe that they're the person, the more money that they're willing to invest with you, not in you because it's in themselves, but with you because now they trust you. Mm. So all a multi-day event is allowing a customer to build more trust with you. So now when you build an, when you make an offer, 5K, 10K, 20K, 50K, now it's easier for people to emerge because now, now there's no questions. Oh, Jay Hill showed me how to go get the equipment. He showed me how he does his marketing. He shows me how he gets his guests. He showed me how he had to, he went from zero to now hero because he had to tap into his inner him. So now when you tell people, I'm looking to show you how to duplicate this process, it's a lot easier to sell than me just spending one hour with you. Mm-hmm. Like right now, we've been talking for an hour, but if I was like, bro, throw me, you know, throw me 20,000 and I'm gonna turn you up. It's like, eh, I don't know you like that. But if I spent more time with you, I had a week with you, and you, re- you really know that I'm who I say I am. I showed you receipts. Uh, I showed you testimonials from students, not just myself. And I really got to talk to you and pour into you. Now it's an easier sale at the end of the week. Oh, wait, hold up. You got somewhere to be? Nah, nah, we good. All right. Yeah. Let's get into it. Yeah. Hold up. So one of my close friends hit me today like, yo, what um, what you think is, uh, like, what's been going on? And, like, what you think is, like, uh, for you to go to the next level? And I'm like, honestly... I'm just trying to build out the business behind this podcast mm. stuff. I feel like I'm really good at creating moments. I'm really good at, like, the ba- like I'm really good at creating it. Makes sense. I feel like I suck at business build, the business and, like, gotcha. so it get fun and can pay the bills. Yep. It's like, I'm the creative, mo- the creativest nigga you know. I'm yep. not going to lie to you. You do that. But when it comes to, like, making money from this shit, it'd be tough. So you need an operations manager because, you know, most creatives actually are broke. Not obviously you're not you, but most the reason. Oh why, no, I'm one of them. No, no, it's no, okay. no, no, not you. I'm saying the reason why they are though because most creatives don't do what they need to do, which is bring on someone who can focus on the business component. Or the other option is start working on the business, learning the business component. So if you don't want to, like you know, that's not your thing. You know, that's not your strength. Because I'm not creative at all. I'm mm. like the. I did to pass it to someone to put it in place. Best thing I did for my business, bro. I hired. Uh, shout out to my operation manager, Susie. I mean, I'm talking about, bro, I could put an idea in the chat and it's already being built out. Mm. I could say we need this, 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 and it's built out in 24 hours. So when people say, yo, how you move so fast? It ain't because of me. I don't want cap to y'all. It ain't because of me. It's because I hired the team to be able to do that, mm. right? And now, so for you, I would definitely suggest your first hire is going to be- But you uh, got to have the money to hire a team. So if I'm a broke creative, I can't- no, hire no team. No, you need to get some funding and then we can hire the team. Now, let me tell you this. You think that the funding is going to be an expense, but the fu- the, fu- the funding, I'm sorry, you think the operation is going to be an expense. It's actually going to enhance your money because the things that you're lacking, the, the, the reason you're not able to make money is because it's taking us too long to go from, I have this idea, but how do I put it in place to make the money? So when you have one, now you're going to be able to now do the things that bring you money. So what you want to do is first get proof of concept. Uh, what do you sell? What, do you, what are you selling with this podcast? Hmm. Shit. Like for real? How can you monetize it? Yeah. I don't know. I was going to ask you that. Yeah. Like I, don't, I think outside of the content itself, I'm not really selling them. Like sometimes I might sell merch. Okay. So why don't you sell how you get a consistent po- podcast that monetizes? You don't think there's people out there who want to learn how to monetize their podcast? You a lot of times we I be definitely th- we be thinking it. too deep. We think oh I got to be at a ten before I teach. Teacher was taught. If you had a level three, you coach the twos and the ones. If you had a level five, you coach the fours down. If you had a ten, you teach everybody. But as you grow, as you get better, it gets easier. So now your price point goes up because now you're teaching them. Well, shit, this is how you make money with not just monetizing, but this is how I get guests to pay me. Oh shit, now you're teaching them not just how I monetize, but how I get guests to pay me and how I get paid from ads. People putting their ads in my podcast, and as you continue to grow, you're adding more value. Now you taught them five ways to monetize a podcast, which makes you more valuable. So now the price is twenty thousand to work with Jay Hill. Damn. You make it sound so easy. It is if you have the <laughs> systems in place. At you first, that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. 
You smoked that bowl. God damn. Good luck. All right, all right, yeah. okay. Wait, but I, I heard like you're supposed to have like seven different incomes and shit like that. And like right now where I'm at, yeah. it's like, all right, man, my podcast make money. Right. But it's like, I need more. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, like. So the seven streams of income within what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get you a little ebook. Okay. E-book. Twenty-seven dollars. Niggas ain't buying ebooks right now. Niggas is buying ebooks, bro. Niggas are buying ebook before a high ticket right now. Cause the ebook, your grandmother can buy, your aunt can buy, your, your somebody who broke can buy it. Twenty-seven dollars. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And if we put it in the funnel, I can go, I can go for days. But if we put it in the funnel, you've been crazy, in the funnel where it's like, like when I first started, I didn't do the high ticket shit. I didn't believe in that at first because I'm from around the way. I had limiting beliefs. So we was making literally a thousand dollars a day off twenty-seven dollar products. But what happened is when someone comes shopping with you and you've been in the funnel before, it's twenty-seven dollars. Then at the checkout, you got another twenty-seven. Then you got another order twenty-seven. And the reason I like the low price products is because they allow people to keep shopping with you. You get five people a day that just spend a uh, hundred dollars with you. That's five hundred dollars a day, yeah. right? And then what happens is from those people who spent the five hundred dollars a day on the thank you page, we always have a book of call and a book of calls from the pick up the phone. Hey, how are you? Do you want to hear about our mentorship? If five people just bought all your eBooks for $27, one or two of them should probably ascend to your 5K program, mm. right? Now you didn't have to pay for those leads because they pay for themselves. So you got your eBook, you got your monetization, what you're doing. You got, you got have guests pay you to come on your podcast. Then you can have your mastermind where you show people how to start a podcast. And then what you could do is, um, so that's four streams right there. You got merch. Yeah, I got yeah. yeah. Merch, I, yeah. I know merch ain't really like a, a thing yeah. a lot of people do like that. So I want to count it. But that's four income streams that you have right there. Okay. Yeah. Yo, I um so I'm about to do a, uh, my first mentorship. Shout out to me. You know what I'm saying? Go. Um I I did 90 days. I th- is that too much? No, hell no. 90 days is good. Preferably I like between 90 days and I like between three months and six months. Okay. Only because it gives people time to execute, unless your messaging is for people who already have podcasts. Yeah. If, if your messaging was people who already have podcasts, then uh, short is fine because they just got to execute. But you're going to be, co- I don't know what the messaging is. Are you going to be coaching people who are beginners? So thing? the first person, he he already has a podcast, but okay. I'm going to show him like how, how I get guests. I'm showing, like, again, this is me freestyling. Free- okay, good. I don't even, I'm showing him how to get guests. I'm showing him, he could, he have access to come in while I record. Fire. Um, oh, that's what, good then. Like, uh, I'm showing him how, like how I make my edits, how, I, uh, like what, what, what sources I use, how to even do this shit yourself if that's you need good. to. You know what I'm saying? So like, and my, my ticket was, I know I undersold myself. I ain't even going to say the number because it's embarrassing, but don't say less than don't say less than five k. Less than five k. It's my first time, bro. I don't know what I was doing. Right, how much you charge? I ain't about to say it's less than that. <laughs> don't say five hundred dollars. Nah, 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 nah. Call nah, him nah. back. Say yo, I made a mistake. No, <laughs> no, nah, nah. it, 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 it ain't it ain't five hundred. Okay, was, okay. No, nah, I said fuck. It's thirty five hundred. Thirty five hundred. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, ninety days. It. But your I first knew I was one, underselling. Yeah, your first one. Proof of concept. You'll get him the results. You'll be hands on. You'll be able to over deliver. After that, everything else is. At, I'm talking about even 5K is low, but you can start there for your first cohort, first 10 people, and then the price is going up. And that's what I was about to say. That's yeah. cr- bro, y'all business niggas be thinking, boy. So I'm t- again, I was talking to my homegirl, right? Yep. She was like, yo, okay, you got the one. What you need to do is start doing some promo saying, yo, you having like a school or you 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 doing something at, at, starting in January. Yes. That way you can just have more the than one. The numbers in there. Exactly. The fact that you just said your first cohort, like oh, you, yeah. y'all on it. So I'm give like, them a month out, go January, and now stop promoting. Hey, y'all, if you're looking to turn up your podcast, start or scale, start grow or scale your podcast. I'm doing a 90 day um, mentorship where I'm gonna be breaking down X Y Z. DM me the word podcast. And now what you want to do is you, ha- you want to have like a little sales copy, like what you just told me. These are the things we're gonna be breaking down. This we're gonna learn. Let me know if you're interested, in, and we are gonna lock in. Why people don't do this more? Often? Like why did not think of this? Because people. For whatever reason, they have limited beliefs. So you, we yeah. probably wasn't thinking people would pay me You're right. yeah, to yeah. learn. Yeah, You're right. yeah. I then be scared. I'd be like, man, I'm gonna do this shit. Like, but once he pays you, what happened? You like shit. If I had, because now it's real. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he paid the invoice. Oh, oh it's up. You yeah. like, oh, hold on. <laughs> you know, what You're saying? absolutely right. You already like, know. Oh, niggas paying for this? Exactly. Why the fuck? Ain't <laughs> now you right. You right. I'm you already right. knowing. And then once he get the result, once he, and it's gonna show you even more. Once you see what it does for his life. Because once you see how it turns him up, now you're like, nah, this is fire. You see five people going out, they getting the result, they scaling their shit, they going dummy. Now you're like, all right, the price is up because the value is there. Price is only an issue in the absence of value. Mm. Once niggas know you're valuable, you can charge whatever you want. Because if they don't pay you, they're going to stick with their problem. And I think that's a, another thing, though. I think we sometimes I overlook my value. Like, I literally will have people come in here and just tell me, and then it reminds me. Because, like, for me, this shit is regular. Yeah, like, you it's. Do just, it. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I, this is, I do this with the back of my hand. Like, exactly. this shit is easy. Yep. But to other people, they be like, bro, you crazy? I'll be looking at you like, I'll be like. Bro. You're like, what? Because to you, it's, it's normal. It's firsthand. And and that's the thing. That's how you know you're him when it comes to this. Because the shit that you think is easy, other people are looking at as complicated. They'll pay you to solve their problems. 
They pay you to set it up faster. Do you do you have have these type of consultations with yeah, people? Yeah, one hundred. Well, we don't not one on one, but we have our digital mastermind where these are the things we break down. How like we just had a dude. Uh, he just uh, Carrington. He just doing my program. This dude was selling because now he was doing credit repair. Now he's trying to do funding. He was selling credit repair for like a hundred dollars, and he had never really made I think more than three thousand dollars in a month. Man, he locked in five days ago, bro. He had how much he had? Six k. He Damn. made. He paid me seventy five hundred to be in our program. He made his money back in a week. Damn. What would it have cost him to deal with charging a hundred dollars for the next year or two if uh, he didn't pay the price? <laughs> he just didn't believe. He's like, he's gonna pay it. I'm like, yo, make the offer. We at the event. He like, yo, she asked me how. I said, make the fucking offer. He's mm. like, I said, put only on it. It's only twenty five hundred. It's only a thousand dollars, right? Because you gotta teach people how to treat you. If mm. You saying it's scared? Yeah, you know, just give me like five hundred, and I'm good. You sound like you're not even confident. But you gotta say it like you know you're worth it. And because he paid it, he could charge it. And let me tell you something about Darius, bro. Just this is don't have nothing to do with our conversation. But so his best friend came here, right? That's who we talking to. Mm-hmm. His best friend worked with him for him, whatever the case may be, right? Yeah. And he told me, and you know me, like I'm a sucker for friendship. That's just me. Yeah. I'm like, wait, what? Like, so this nigga got up and he brought the niggas with him. Yeah. So this is just like, cause sometimes they say like, even if you're not buying into what he's saying, I'm saying he's a good, this, he's a good nigga. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that's that means something to me. Andy, you feel yeah. me? Like yeah. the fact that you you got your the same people that you came up with. Still rocking. Yeah, so that's dope as fuck, bro. I, I really, I really rock with you for that, bro. Appreciate that's crazy, it. man. Damn, dog. This is that's a dope combo, man. Sheesh. Sure. Damn, sure. man. Well, holla at my guy, man. Tell, yes, tell him how to uh, um, find you and everything. Make sure else. y'all follow me all platforms at Darius Benders. Um, again, uh, December 11th through the 13th, three day boot camp. I'm gonna be showing you how to get access to funding and how to leverage it. Uh, if y'all DM me the word J Hill, I'm gonna give you the first one to DM me the word J Hill sent me. I'm gonna give a free VIP ticket to. The rest of y'all, I'm going to give y'all a discount. And uh, I'm excited to lock in with y'all. And again, bro, thanks for having me on the platform. Of course, man. I'm, I'm looking for niggas now. I'm, I'm trying to bring them to you. <laughs> <laughs> Darius Vendor, yeah, J-Hill man. Podcast. This is Brad. We out. Yeah.